Hello, my name is Cassandra Xavier. I'm also known as Amethyst Ra. I am currently based in New York City, but I uh, lived in uh, Philadelphia for a long time, and I founded uh, Philadelphia's annual Black Women's Arts Festival in 2003. So I'm really happy to be here, and uh, one of the things that I'm doing in my work as a musician and a writer is leading affirmation sing-alongs, and I thought I would talk a little bit about affirmations and how they work um, in my life so that you have uh, you know a little bit more information on how they can uh, be incorporated into your daily practice. How um, affirmations are described for me in, in my definition are um, statements of a desire that are made in present tense. So basically you take uh, something that you want and you make a statement about it as though it is currently present in your life. And that's an affirmation. How it all began for me was in the early 90s when I discovered a book by Louise Hay called You Can Heal Your Life. And it was a life-changing book and introduced to me the concept of affirmations in a non-religious fashion. And it started changing my life um, in a pretty major way. Uh, currently, that book has been a bestseller for many, many, many years, but currently it's in DVD format, and I highly encourage you to check it out. Um, how uh, an affirmation uh, looks is, uh, let me give you an example. Um, let's say you have a car, and it's not working, and it's giving you a lot of problems, and you want, you want to have a better car. So what you want to say is something like, I now have a car that works very well and makes me very happy. Um, I find that it's really helpful to focus on the emotion of it because you could say that you want a car that you know, works really, really well, but it doesn't make you happy for whatever reason. Perhaps it costs you too much money or perhaps it's too flashy. Cops are always flagging you down. So basically, I think it's really important to uh, say how you want this thing that you want to make you feel also. I think it's very good to be specific. Um, it's sort of like ordering. David Wolf, who's this raw vegan guru, says that uh, it's like ordering on the menu of the universe. Um, because if you're in a restaurant and you're ordering something, you can't just say nothing or say, give me food that doesn't suck. You have to say, I want this and I want that. So be specific. Um, but don't be too specific because you probably are not the best uh, person at finding what you, what, what you really need. You probably have a good idea, but the universe knows much better. So I think it's really good to be specific and say, I want something that you know, is good, I want a healthy relationship, I want something to, to talk, be specific about what you want, but then leave it open for the universe to bring you what it thinks is best for you. I always say also, surprise me. I think that the universe has a <laughs> wicked sense of humor. <laughs> and a lot of times I talk to it the way it sort of talks to me. So sometimes I say, surprise my ass. And it does. So I think it's really good to, you know, uh, to be very light about it. And uh, another thing that's important to do is to, uh, I think it's good to end it with two statements or something better, because who knows what could be better? You have no idea. And it may be for the good of all. Like for example, you might want something and get it, but it might hurt someone else as a result. So may it be for the good of all sort of you know, covers all of that. So it must be in present tense. Make it positive, not negative. Don't say, I want a car that doesn't break down anymore. Or, or that doesn't use a lot of gas, or because the universe will work on the words that you give it, whether you want it to or not. So, for example, if you have debt and you want to get rid of your debt, don't say, I want to get rid of my debt, or I am now free of debt, because all the universe hears is debt, as amazing as it is. So what you want to say, I am financially free and comfortable. Um, I am financially abundant and wealthy and things like this. Um, so use the words that are the opposite of what the problem is, rather than saying, using negative language like, I don't want to suffer anymore, because the universe is going to give you more suffering because you're focusing 
on suffering, and so you're going whatever you um, whatever you focus on. Write them down. That's very very important to write them down so you see them. Uh, I write them down often. Sometimes I'm on the Chinatown bus for two hours and. Most of the time, I'm just writing down my affirmations, and I find it very helpful. Um, say them aloud. That's also really important. It's not important to just think them. You have to actually speak them aloud. And say them in front of the mirror. Um, also, that's really, really, really helpful. Some people find it very helpful to time their goals, visualizations, aff affirmations. You may have heard Jim Carrey, the, the comic, he wrote himself a $10 million check. What I didn't know, I knew that he accomplished that goal, but I didn't know that he timed it. He said that he would do it in five years. Um, timing things can be also very, very effective. Um, last two things are one, put the emotions behind it. You know, so when you're thinking about an affirmation, also focus on the essence of what you would be having in your life and focus on how you'll feel when you have those things. And it could be difficult at first to even know how you feel because you're, you might be saying things that you never even thought you could have. But keep doing it and more and more over time you'll actually find the emotions and that will help propel them into being. And lastly, do them often. Uh, do the affirmations as often as you can every day, write them down. Um, that's everything that I have on affirmations so far. I'm always learning more. Um, I, I will be writing about this. I have two albums that are being recorded right now. If you'd like to get involved in them, they're both affirmations. Uh, two albums of 10 songs each, 20 songs total or written of affirmation songs. And I've been leading affirmation sing-alongs. They're part of my sets. You can find my gigs at myspace.com slash Cassandra Xavier Music. And, um, you know, stay in touch. So. YouTube me and you'll see and be able to sing along with some affirmation songs very, very soon. Thanks for listening.